Hey, my name is Emilio Salehi. I'm Miguel Salehi. We run the bar program at the Beehive in San Francisco, and we are both 2019 Star Chefs, San Francisco Rising Stars. So the Beehive is a cocktail bar in the heart of the mission in San Francisco. We opened up in mid-2018, and I would say our vibe is very much 60s, 70s, retro glam house party. So the, the general ethos here at the Beehive is that we want it to be a fun bar. Uh, and that really influences what we do with the cocktail program. While our drinks are absolutely uh, rooted in classics, we always try to find interesting flavor pairings. Uh, and at the end, they just make them fun and enjoyable for our guests. We definitely prefer having a minimalistic bar top, which means that we're very selective with the tools that we have on top of the bar. Um, in this case, the products in Barfly are absolutely beautiful, they match our aesthetic perfectly, but most importantly, they are highly functional. Today, we're going to be making the Hound Dog and our Green Emmanuel using Barfly tools. Let's get to it. So the Hound Dog was actually the first cocktail I made for the menu at the Beehive. Um, we knew that we wanted uh, an Elvis Presley themed cocktail, and he very famously loved peanut butter and ham sandwiches. So taking those flavors and translating them into a cocktail, I really quite enjoyed those flavors with um, kind of a darker spirit um, and template in general. So it just worked really well in kind of a Manhattan variation. So the hand dog calls for a little bit of salt as a flavor enhancer and some aromatic bitters. An ounce and a half of our peanut washed bourbon, about half an ounce of our house removed blend, half an ounce of Oloroso sherry, about a quarter ounce of a high quality creme de banane. We serve that over a large cube and then we actually garnish it with a caramelized banana chip which has just a beautiful, really nice, sweet, aromatic. So here's the Hound Dog cocktail made using bar fly tools. An important element of what we do at the Beehive has to do with our mise en place. Whether it's in the kitchen or behind the bar, it's important that everything is organized and in its place. So whenever we're doing an offsite event, having this canvas roll up is really important for us because we can then transfer all of our gear uh, in a concise way that is organized. We enjoy using the Boston shakers from Barfly. They have a really nice weight to them and they're very durable, which is important for us because we crank out a lot of cocktails here, uh, especially on the weekends. So having a tool that is gonna stand up to that wear and tear uh, is really important to us. Let's run through a build of the Green Emmanuel. So when we're building this cocktail, we're gonna start with a fresh slice of cucumber, some Thai lime leaf, a couple dashes of salt just to make all the flavors pop, a little bit of lime juice to balance it out, and then about an ounce and a half of the kiwi and Thai lime leaf syrup. We're then gonna finish it with a big two ounce pour of our batch, which includes an ounce of vodka, half an ounce of a dry manzanilla sherry, and half an ounce of Saint Germain. It's gonna be a nice kind of sweet floral quality. We're gonna shake that up, and then we're gonna strain it over about an ounce and a half of soda water, cap that off with some crushed ice. Again, wants to be really refreshing and light. And then we're gonna garnish it beautifully with a slice of cucumber and Thai lime leaf. And that's how you make a Green Emmanuel with Barfly Tools.